Rauma could be famous for its picturesque wooden houses and narrow alleys. After all, the town in southwestern Finland has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Instead, Rauma is making headlines for a nuclear power plant located just 10 kilometers outside the town. It's been in service for three decades, and a third reactor is under construction. Soon, the world's first ever final repository for nuclear waste will be located here, too. It'll be buried deep underground and surrounded by a layer of solid rock. The plan is to store nuclear waste there for 100,000 years. In most countries, a permanent nuclear waste storage facility would spark protests, or at least be seen as a cause for concern. Yet talking to the people of Rauma reveals just the opposite. If the politicians tell us it's safe, then it is. It's the right location. I trust the technicians. They're Finnish. They don't seem to be worried about the potential risks. One of the passengers on this bus thinks otherwise, though. He is not happy that the world's first final repository for nuclear waste will be located in Finland. I'm uh, rather ashamed that we are doing it so fast. Of course, we should put the nuclear waste somewhere, but but not so. It's it's not so easy. We want to see where the spent fuel will be stored. So we travel underground to a depth of 420 meters below sea level. These billion year old rock walls are supposed to contain the radiation. And now when we go in, you can see that there is now the... We're joined by a geologist and a power plant employee. And we can go in now to the tunnel and see what kind of uh, these holes are. The plan is to drill hundreds of eight meter deep holes into the rock. That will enable nuclear fuel rods encased in copper to be inserted. It has many stages where we gather all the research information, what we have, and then make a decision that is it possible to make the hole or not. It's a maze of tunnels and it will take 100 years until all of Finland's nuclear waste will be sealed in here, and 100,000 years until the radiation subsides. But who knows for sure what will happen in 100,000 years? I don't know. The rock itself stays as it is. If there's, well, of course, if there's an ice age, then we ha are going to have some rock lifting going, all rock is being put down. But um, otherwise, it's, it's hard to see. If you think backwards at the same time, uh, there are millions of things that have happened during that time. But and this will be safe? This will be safe. Not even the fear of an ice age seems to be able to rattle the Finnish people, even if that prospect could destroy the tunnel system. I think. Anyhow, this is better place than, than to keep the radioactive used fuel, fuel outside. But Tanya Virtanen has misgivings. We meet Tanya and her children in Rauma, near the nuclear power plant. She knows that Finns use lots of electricity, but her family is an exception. They use wood to heat their house and sauna, but will this be enough? She worries about the next generation. Freezing. <laughs> Nothing that dangerous can be in safe for 100% sure. So many, so many years, so long time. So it's too risky. If people would think about that even a moment, they would understand it. The nuclear fuel will be contained behind a rock wall and surrounded by a wall of silence. The operators will not be installing public warning signs. 
it might be better to be forgotten because you're beating backwards the time. We have already difficulties to understand what the Egyptians try to tell us with, a, with their language. So the plan seems to be to try to forget about the storage facility. Everything's already settled, and the local residents know that a protest would fall on deaf ears. In this area, they are afraid there has been some, so much pressure for those who, who, are, who have shouted these th things out. As we return home, doubts remain. For instance, how thick will the rock walls need to be to withstand the forces of nature? It's a question that does not seem to be at the forefront of most people's minds.